heaven is mine. So victory, 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 victory. And the season it is mine. Amen. Amen. Jeremiah said his word is in my heart. Like fire shut up in my bones. That I am unable to stay quiet. Today they never said that you got to be unable. When you gather here, when you begin to pray, when you begin to worship, you got to be unable to stay quiet. Tell them no miracle will happen. Without obedience. Obedience. Obedience to the command of the Spirit. So the neighbor said, you got to be obedient to the command of the Spirit. Amen. at the back, Jesus said, let those who are of age to hear what the Spirit is saying unto the church. Let them hear. Amen. Whatever miracle you are here for, whatever deliverance, listen to me. Amen. You got to desire it above everything else. The Bible says, only when you desire a thing, it shall come to pass. And whatever man desires, they just go after with their all. Amen. Amen. If we desire earthly things, whatever earthly things we want, we just go after it with our all. And you want God to move in your life, you want the impossible to be made possible. Then the neighbor said, you want the impossible to be made possible. You got to go after it with your all. Jesus said, give me your all and I will give unto you your heart desire. Amen. So the neighbor said, Jesus said, give me, tell him, Jesus said, give me your all and I will give unto you your heart's desire. So you want the desire of your heart to come to pass. You got to give God your all. Amen. 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 So the neighbor said, you want your desire to come to pass. Give God your all. And we are praying for that few moments, that few minutes. Give God your all. Amen. Amen. But it's just commanding with all of your might, your strength. Command those devils out. Command that sickness out. As I told you before. Amen, somebody. Amen. Laying of hands do not get people healed. What get them healed is when they have received the word in their heart. Yes. 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 What will get you healed? What will get you saved? What will get you delivered? What will get you free? What will get you to grow? What will get you to conquer? It is the word of God known as the sword of the spirit. The Bible says it is quick and it is powerful. It is sharper than any two-edged sword. It cuts going in and it heals coming out. And the Bible said his word it deserves the thoughts of men and the intentions of their hearts. It is able to divide the very marrow from our bones. Hallelujah. Notice Jesus at the pool of Bethsaida. Notice him, the angel troubling the water. He who commanded all the angels is present. The Son of God. He whose authority is greater than them. He who is mightier than them. An angel sent to serve God's people. Once a year at the pool of Bethsaida. To come in the water and move the water. And whosoever will enter first will be healed. Jesus now coming. And multitudes are there. Multitudes are there. Amen, somebody. Amen. You know we you look at how many of you ever look on, on TV and you see you saw a Ben Hinkus a little hands. You saw a right hand bounty crusade in your hands. Those great evangelists, you see them, the, the hundreds of thousands, the millions there. And when they call for testimony time, how much you see out of the millions coming up? Four, 
five, six. Why is that? It is the same principle as operated at the pool of Bethsaida. The same principle is operating amongst the millions, and the same principle is operating here tonight. Amen. You do not reach out. If you do not pray, Amen. if you do not seek God, He said, You have to draw nigh unto me. And I will draw nigh unto you. There are people that Jesus was sent to because they had no other option of reaching to him. The man at the pool of Bethsaida believed God for how many years? 38 long years. He didn't give up on the servant that God sent. That, that angel was a servant of God. And before Jesus came, it was given to the hands of angels to be mediators between God and man. So when you read through the Old Testament, every prophet, every great miracle, you will hear of the angels of the Lord. You will hear either the angel Michael came, the angel Gabriel came, you will hear of the angel of the Lord himself came. They came to bring healing, deliverance, a message. Amen. So God sent the servant, this angel, to serve the people once a year at that pool called Bethsaida. And whosoever will enter what? First will be healed. Why did he heal all that was there? Because God is looking for people that have certain type of genuine characteristics that is seeking his face till it gently that is that is creating their life in a position, putting themselves in a place to, to reach God, to, to touch God, to, to be the first one to touch him, the first one to receive from him, the first one to be where he is. So that's why he set it up in that place that whosoever will enter first. Whosoever will be creative enough to, to find that way amongst all, all the hundreds of sick people. Being sick, blind, deaf, all. Have AIDS, cancer, doesn't qualify you for a miracle. Come on, come on. Come on Your attitude in the presence of God. Amen. Amen. Qualifies you for that miracle. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Amen. That's why in these big crusades. You will live. Amen. How many times you, you look at these big crusades and you see that, that they lay hands individually for people to be healed? They say, all who could go, come and go and heal everybody here. If they call for all who was blind, go and heal everybody here. All who was deaf, go and heal everybody here. All who are AIDS, go and heal everybody here. You see that they have learned from an early age in their workshop. The Spirit of God is in the midst. Amen. And he does what? Searches. What he does? Searches. What are you what are, what is he searching? The hearts of men. Amen. 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 Come on. Amen. Jesus said, it is I who is amongst you. It is I who is walking in the midst of the church. Amen. The Son of God had power to heal everyone there present. He had power to command thousands and legions of angels to appear. But the Spirit of God was leading him. The same Spirit that is here and is leading him. Amen. 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 Uh, it is important to us leaders to find people in our congregation that lack the word of faith. 
Remember as, 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 as ushers in the spirit realm you are doorkeepers. You find people, you've got to be observant during the service. You find people that are not reaching out the way that they ought to, they're seeking God and the way that they ought to. Maybe they don't understand that the man of God is ministering and you begin to, to show them and tell them how to react in the spirit, Amen. how to react in the world. Amen. Yeah. What they need to do, how they need to believe, how they need to confess. The Bible said, let the sick see I am healed. Amen. Let the poor see I am rich. Amen. Let the weak see I am strong. You got something you gotta help people faith. Jesus, a man came to, to Jesus and cried out and said, Oh Lord, heal thou my unbelief. Amen. And maybe you don't even have to be a leader, but you, you just got to be a devoted follower of Christ. Okay. And you want somebody to be here. Amen. And you got to tell them, brother, sister, when you, you know that you have this problem, this issue in your life, you see, when you start to pray, begin to pray or concerning that issue. Amen. Begin to turn your heart to God. Because God doesn't owe us anything. Amen. Amen. Remember, it is man who have sold out their birthrights. right. Jesus, because of the love of the Father, came to reclaim it for us and paid the price for us to reclaim that birthright. But that doesn't mean that Satan has given up on humanity. Amen. 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 Am I speaking to somebody here tonight? Amen. Give God some praise. Amen. I'm telling you this, that you want to miss out on what God has for you Amen. in this season. Amen. In this hour, in this time, in this moment. Tell him, he said, do not miss your moment. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Tell him, I said, do not miss your moment. This moment in time, you will never live again. What is your day today? The what? Of what? 2001. You will never relive this period of time. Amen. And the Bible says God has ordained while we might take it for granted our time and our life. The Bible says that God has ordained what? Times and seasons for every purpose. What does God mean? Times and seasons for His divine purpose. Amen. 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 There are people that suffer for no reason. There are people that die for no reason. Amen. And then there are people that suffer for divine reasons and divine purpose unto the honor and glory of God. Miracles, healings are there to glorify God. So that unbelievers will believe. Am I, am I speaking to someone? Amen. 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 Miracles, signs, and wonders are there to glorify God. Amen. 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 Of course, we can miss the most valuable point that he is the, the body of that person. Amen. That they might fulfill the purpose of God. That they might rejoice that God has healed them, and God has delivered them, and God has rescued them. Amen. 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 Because of their what? Their faith. Because of their faith. 
And their faith will cause others' faith to what? To bloom. Amen. Amen. We've got some quicks tonight. So we see that Jesus, the thousands there, this was something that all Israel knew about. They know the time and the season and the purpose of the angel. What did they know? The time and the season and the purpose of the angel. They know that the, the, the purpose of the angel is that he is sent to heal. Amen. 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 And they know that the command is, Amen somebody, that whosoever, tell the neighbor, whosoever, will enter first. Will enter first. Will enter first. Will enter first. Whosoever is created enough will find that way is determined, is hungry, is thirsty, or whatever they came for of God is going to get it first. Yeah. In the Lord Jesus spoke about the, about the children of the kingdom. He told us, do not think because you are the children of Abraham. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 That you are free. Amen. 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 He speaks about that. He said that the children of the kingdom, the children of God, will repent it not. He told them, he said, if this world will reach a Sodom and Gomorrah, the tire and Zion, they would have repented. He said, but this generation, refuse to repent. He said that they sit in darkness. But he said there was a people that would come from where? The east, the west, the north, the south, the highways, and the byways. And they will receive the promises of God. And he said, and the children of the kingdom shall be cast into outer darkness. So that we as believers we get comfortable. Amen? Amen. We get comfortable in our seats. We get comfortable in our religion. We get comfortable in our cycle, in our circle. Amen. We get comfortable with leaders and with men of God. And we stop doing the things that we ought to do. And those who did not know him will come in the house of God and begin to do the things that you are supposed to be doing and receive your blessing, receive your healing, receive your deliverance, receive your miracle. Amen. Amen. Jesus was sent to the person who was found doing the things that he ought to do. I won't use the word worthy. Amen. Amen. I won't even use that word worthy. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 But when Jesus came, he found him doing what he was supposed to do. The news, are you doing, are you doing what you are supposed to do? Because you do not know the time and the season when he will appear to you. There's an hour of visitation for your life, for your home, your family, your miracle, your breakthrough. And it is your job to be faithful until that hour, to be diligent until that hour, to seek him until that hour. Remember the five wise virgins and the five foolish. Amen. And the five wise was, was willing, was obedient. They walked with enough oil. Amen, somebody. That they were able to stay and wait. Amen. Until uh, the bridegroom came. Amen, somebody. But those who didn't have enough uh, had to go back uh, and buy some more. Amen. And while they were unprepared, uh, while they were not found ready, while they were not found doing the things uh, that they were supposed to do, uh, those that were ready went in uh, and God uh, shut the door of those who were not ready. Yeah. 
There are people that God gave many chances to, and there are people that God locked the door of heaven from. Amen. amen. Yes, many people don't believe that. Many people, amen, they are chasing and don't preach that. They are radical grace preachers and they preach the full gospel. But Jesus said, the scripture said that there are people, amen, that God has given up on a reprobate mind. Amen. They refuse to be conformed to the world, to subject themselves to God's word. Amen. 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 What did Jesus do? He bypassed everybody else who was blind, who was lame, who was crippled. He walked around everybody else. He watched all the thousands of the hundreds there. And he looked at one. And he said, The thou be made whole. Amen. 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 And here the man cries, he said, Every year I come here faithful, obedient, willing. I'm here every year. Amen. But I have no body to, to bring me here. Jesus knew that. I have no body to put me in. Jesus knew that. But Jesus knew his willingness to be where the servant of God was. He knew that he, knew that he wanted that miracle. He wanted that deliverance. He wanted that breakthrough. He wanted that anointed. He wanted to answer that call. He wanted her. He wanted to be there. Even though he had no one to carry him there. Even though he was stupid and lame. Amen. He wanted it. That's what caused Jesus to bypass everyone else. And go to him. Can you speak to me? Don't let us be a as, as that people that sit and wait on God. The Bible never tell us to sit Amen. and idle. To be idle. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 The Bible said never said to be idle. Amen. The Bible said for those that are idle will eat the bread of idleness. They will eat the bread that the devil has need for them. When you say, man of God, the Bible said, we to wait upon the Lord, shall we need your strength. Amen. Amen. Those that are waiting are not waiting without purpose. They are waiting because God has promised them something. Amen. But they are waiting faithfully. Amen. They are waiting dedicatedly. Amen. They are waiting humbly. They are not waiting either. They are not waiting just walking about doing anything they want to do. Amen. Anything they feel to do. Amen. Anywhere they want to go. Amen. They are waiting diligently on Amen. God. Amen. But they are continuing to do the very same thing that they have been doing under the honor and glory of God Amen. while they are waiting for their blessing. Amen. Amen. When the man of God, the Bible said to be still and will be strong. <laughs> the same concept there. Amen. They are still obediently, Amen. faithfully. Amen. 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 They're not standing still doing nothing. No. They, they all that God commanded them to do, they are still doing uh, until He come and give it to them. Amen. <laughs> Said, there is no idol believer. There is no idol believer. The neighbor said, You have purpose as a Christian. You have a job to fulfill for God in your life. You are saved with a purpose. You are healed with a purpose. You are delivered with a purpose. Amen? Amen. 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 Give God your question. How many of you here have with your hands? How many of you put on your knees and you see a show of hands? Amen. Uh, have you, are you all over here on Monday? You were all here yesterday? All of you were here on Monday? 
that I lifted your hands for baptism. Amen. The baptism chat time has changed from Friday because we didn't get the pool on Friday. We get it on Saturday. Amen. For half ten. Amen. So all of you got to be here by ten. Amen. For the ladies. Amen. Amen. And uh, we're going to continue in the world. This is the ABCs of the gospel. We're getting into. We're, we're trying to run through here because I saw more, most of you have been here for more than two months. Amen, somebody. Who oh, is going to be baptized? So the word you have been receiving during that time should be more than enough. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 We just want to go to the ABCs. Amen, somebody. Amen. Of those that are beginning or restoring their walk with Christ. Amen. So the neighbor say you are not starting a religion. You're not starting a group. You're not following a man. You are starting to follow Jesus Christ. And you would have a relationship with Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Our Baptist faith is not going to save us. Our Seventh Day faith is not going to save us. Amen, somebody. Our Catholic faith is not going to save us. Our Pentecostal faith is not going to save us. You claim to be a full gospel that's not going to save you. What that's going to save you is when you seek after the greatest miracle, which is salvation, eternal life. Having a true and real relationship with Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Today we said this ministry that God has called is about sonship. It's about as many as receive him to them he gave power to become the sons of God even to them that will believe on his name. It's about having a real and true relationship with Christ. Amen. 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 Tell your name and number. Tell them where there is salvation. Where there is eternal life. Jesus said, I have come that you. Tell them you shall have life and have it more abundantly. Tell them Jesus said, out of you shall spring forth rivers of living waters that shall lead unto life eternal. So tell them where there is salvation, there is signs, there is wonders, there is miracles. Not just miracles, undeniable miracle, undetestable miracle, miracles of people, religion, society, science, doctors, medicine cannot deny that our God is alive. He's not in a, in a picture, he's not in a frame, he's not in a statue. Amen, somebody. There will be undeniable evidence. Yeah. 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 Evidence of God's power, of God's mercy, of God's grace upon your life. If you are a smoker, you're going to lose that oil to smoke. If you are a drinker, you're going to lose that oil to drink. Amen, somebody. If you are living a life of a harlot, amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen. Man to man, woman to woman, amen. You're going to lose that old child. That old because you want to keep your body sanctified. You want to keep me sanctified. Amen, somebody said, keep me sanctified. 
Because you know what? You see, a body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. And you will want to keep your body holy. Amen. Amen. So a donkey would be made manifest. Fornication would be made manifest. Until you want your body holy, set apart for the use of God. You want your life, you want it to be in all that the principles of the word of God. So the word sanctified means to be what? Set apart. Amen. To be what? Set apart. Set apart. If I say set apart the, the white and the red chairs, we are putting a divide between light and darkness, Amen. between the children of God and the children of the world. So the neighbor said, you better recognize you are a child of God. You do not belong to the world. You are, being, you are not the children of the world. You are the children of God. So the way that you live is going to be different. Tell them that God has separated you from them. Tell them, say, you are separated. Say, he said, come out from a monster and be separated unto me. And touch not the unclean thing. Tell them we are dealing with the ABC that the gospel did. Amen. Yeah. So the first thing we're talking about is baptism. They must say baptism. Yeah. Baptism. Somebody shout baptism. Baptism. Today must say baptism. Baptism. Amen, somebody. Yeah. What does the word baptize mean? Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Today must say the word. Yeah. You can write on that. Today must say the word. Baptism. baptism or to be baptized it means to be submerged or immersion amen amen or to be poured upon now the, the reason why there are amen somebody so much different interpretation of the world is because this world plays many different type of roles Amen. There are. Amen. Based on the situation, the word will be used differently. Amen, somebody. Amen. It is a Hebrew word. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. And based on it, it is used differently. When it speaks about the Spirit of God, when the Bible speaks about that we are being what? Baptized by the Spirit of God. It means to be what? Amen. In, in, the, in the English, it will mean to be poured upon. To be what? Poured upon. If you are going to be baptized by man, by water, it means to be submerged. Amen, somebody. And in baptism, you're not only being submerged, but you're also what? Emerging. Rising up. Coming up. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. So, so when we speak about baptism, the interpretation of the word takes three forms. Amen. 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 Don't you never say the interpretation of the word Amen baptism of the Greek and the Hebrew takes three forms. Amen. Amen. To be what poured upon. That interpretation takes place when the Spirit of God is poured upon you. Amen. To be submerged. That happens is when you are gone under the water. Yeah. You are submerged, fully submerged. Amen. Yeah. 
and then you are emerging. So you're not only being submerged, but you're also emerging, coming out. Amen. 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 So this is not just for those who are. Amen. This these next nights are not for just those who are going to be baptized, but there are people who are baptized and don't understand their reason of baptism. Amen. Amen. So baptism have three what? Three forms. Amen. The operation of God is happening in your life. Amen. Amen. Three forms. Three forms. Three, three interpretations. Three, interpretation. three operations three that God is doing there. Amen. 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 So when we are being submerged. The reason we are being submerged, the first operation, being submerged, is representing what? Anybody? Quickly, what have been baptized before? It represents what? The death of the old man. The cosmos, the liar, the thief, the cheater, the fornicator, the adulterer. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. The drunkard, the reveler. Amen. The backbiter. It representing the death of that man. Amen. 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 Tell the message your submersion in baptism is representing the change that is happening in your life. Before we get into that, amen, somebody. We've got to understand first thing that Jesus is the only way to heaven. Whatever background you're coming from here tonight, Horatio, Amen, Horatio Baptist, Muslim, Hinduism, whatever mixture you have in your family, Amen somebody. Amen somebody. Amen. 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 People, the Muslims that say that Allah, Amen, is the name of God. Go to any translation. The word Allah simply means Lord. Amen. It's not a name of God. Amen. There is no interpretation Amen. for the word Allah more than Lord. Amen. Go to any Arabic books. Any is just we are just fooled by religion of what we were brought up into. The word Allah in Arabic just means Lord. If the Christian go in, amen, to any Arabic country and they have an interpreter and they say Lord, they go to say Allah. Amen. If they say Lord, they go to say Allah. Amen. 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 But when we speak about Yeshua, Amen. When we speak about Jesus, it means what? Savior, Messiah. But the word Allah has no interpretation but Lord. It is not a name of God. It is not a name for God. And that's why when the angel visited Mary, he said his name shall be called Yeshua, amen somebody, or Jesus, which shall mean Savior, for he shall save the people from their sins. And we know that the Savior is the Messiah. And the Messiah is the Christ. And the Christ means what? The anointed one. One that has been sent by God. And we know that it is the anointing that shall pray 
and he yoked. So I want us to understand now that you can be a good Muslim. You can be a very good Hindu. You can be a very good Baptist. You can be a whatever, and you can be a very good Hare Krishna. You can be doing good works, listen to me. You can give to the poor. You can you can give to the needy. You can build a house of people. You can help people. You can feed people. You can do all these things, and and you are going to hell without Jesus. And and, and this is what explaining what baptism is about. That's why we go and preach the people of diverse religion and we preach to them that Jesus is the only answer. We've got to explain to them why. Preacher. Amen. So all of our good works cannot save us. Preacher. The Bible said all of our works, amen, all of our righteousness is as filthy rags. All of our good works is as filthy rags before God. Let me tell you something. I'm telling you people that do good things for many different reasons. Mm -hmm. Self-satisfaction. Mm -hmm. Showing dominance. Showing authority. Showing that they have. There are many yeah, the people do things for, for favor, for favor, all different types of things. Mm -hmm. and, and even if there are those that do things sincerely out of a genuine heart, they, that's because they are genuine. Uh, does not mean they are going to heaven. The only way to heaven is through Jesus Christ. And let us do that again as a verse of scripture why the only way to heaven is through Jesus Christ. We need to understand why, why. And then we go to ask me, why is the only way to heaven through Jesus Christ? As a man of God, the Bible tells us that Jesus is the only way, truth, and life. It says that Jesus is the door. Amen. 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 But let's see why. We're going to go to the book of Psalms, chapter 51, and verses 5. And let's see why. Amen. 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 Let's see why Jesus is the only way. Many believers don't understand that, so they can't answer. When a Muslim asks, so why is the I understand? Amen. If hey, they will say, well, I believe in my religion and you believe in your religion. And you go into heaven and I go into heaven. If you speak to him, they tell you the same thing. But they're incorrect according to God's law and commandments. Amen, somebody. Amen? Amen. 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 Uh, you will hear people say, well, all of these serve the same God. No. Amen. And the spirit is of God. Amen. There's only one spirit the Father has sent to us when the Son left, and it's called the Holy Spirit. You will hear people say, well, like, oh, I worship ancestral spirits. You're not worshiping your ancestral spirits. You're worshiping demon spirits. Your ancestors are dead and gone and have faced your judgment. They're either in heaven or hell. Amen. But to be absent from this body is to be present with the Lord. Verse 5. All from? Amen. Amen. All from tonight. Amen. Behold, I was shaken in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. It simply means we were all born in sin and shape. Amen. And when we talk about shape, we mean to function. Tell the neighbor, say, all of us, before being born again. So that's why you have to be what? Born again. Amen. That's why like Jesus came to Nicodemus in St. John chapter 3 and said that you must first be born again before you can see the kingdom of God. It means that you must be reshaped. So the man who has not accepted Jesus Christ is born in sin and shaped in iniquity. 
you are a you are a prisoner to sin. Your instinct is to do wrong, to sin, to lust, to fight, to cheat, to lie. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. You do not know any better. Adam showed us out to Satan. Our birthright. Amen. Our birth paper. Everybody know here what our birth paper is. It has our name, amen, upon it. Amen, somebody. It has your first and your last name. Amen. It tells you who your parents are. Amen. 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 It tells you, your birth paper tells you your name and who your parents are. Who your parents are. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Adam, when he was first created, was in the image and likeness of God, and the glory of God was upon him. And when Adam sinned, he came into an agreement with Satan, and he was now given up that birthright. And that birthright, amen, was in the image and likeness of God. When he sinned, all man came in the image and likeness of their father, Satan, Lucifer, whomever you may call him. Him. So we were now born, amen, after Adam, all men that were born out of the womb of a woman, out of the seed of a man, was born in sin and shame and iniquity. We were born to do wrong. We were born after the image and likeness of Satan. That's what the Bible says. That's why Jesus came and said, listen, just because you are Abraham children doesn't mean that you are saved. He told Nicodemus that you have to be born again. Amen. 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 So those that are without Christ, those who have not accepted Jesus Christ as Messiah, as Savior, as Lord, their image and likeness, no matter how much good deed they are trying to do, is after Satan. On their birth certificate, whatever is their name, their last name is recorded as Satan. Amen. You will read in the book of Colossians about the laws and the ordinances of God that, that Jesus Christ destroyed them with his death, his burial, and his resurrection. So if your name is John and you do not belong to the family of Christ, you are John Lucifer. Yeah. It's down there you're going. To the pit of hell. Yeah. That's why Jesus said before he come that this gospel, the only gospel that can save people, must be preached to the ends of the earth. That no man will be without excuse. Amen. 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 That they will know who their father is. And the only way to inherit eternal life to have your name rewritten, to have your name put in the Lamb's book of life, is by being born again. So being a good Muslim, a good Hindu, a good Orisha Baptist, even a good seven days, being religious, whatever your name of your religion is, if you have not surrendered to Jesus Christ and accept him and made him Lord and Savior of your life, and you have, if you have not recognized that he is the only way, truth and life, that there is no other way, amen somebody, then in all your good works that you are doing, you shall still perish. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Yeah.
The Bible says, wherever we sow, we're going to go. It's a reap, but we are dealing with eternal life here. We are dealing with the soul. We are dealing with the spirit of man here. Amen, somebody. So you, you might be living up. What, what we, we as, amen, in the world that we grew up in might call a good life and might say that you are a good person. But if that person, tell him, say that person, have not surrendered to Jesus, his portion is hell. Now, Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 Now, so we were born in sin and what? Shaping iniquity. Shaping iniquity. Now, so by one man, Adam, he brought what? Sin, sin sickness, and death, death into the world. Amen. And because all men born out of the seed of a man, out of the womb of a woman, was born in sin and shaped in iniquity. None was found worthy to redeem man. None was found valuable enough to pay the price, to take back our birthright from Satan. But God had a plan. And we read about that plan Amen. in St. John again. Amen. 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 For God so loved the world. And we speak about the world, we have to speak about the water and the dirt. We are speaking about you and I. For God so loved you. Then we say, God so loved you that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever shall believe on him should not perish but shall have everlasting life. God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved. Jesus said now he that believeth not is already condemned. Yes. Yes. You don't need no man to condemn you. Yes. If you are not a believer, you are already condemned to hell. Yes. Because our image, our bloodline, uh, is contaminated. Yes. We have been separated from God by Adam and Eve's sin. Yes. Amen? Amen. Amen. Anyone understand what I'm saying? Can I lift your hands? Amen. 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 I thought this is the most simplest baptism of class we ever have. You have to understand why you're going to be baptized. Yeah. Why, is, why is Jesus the only way, the only truth, the only life? Amen. 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 And this is the reason right here. God sent His only Son and with His very own blood, the Bible says, amen, that's why in every religion, listen to me, in every religion, blood sacrifice is recognized. Do you know that? Amongst every queen, every race, where there is some sort of religion, nation, blood sacrifice is recognized. When they do know we are witchcraft, sorcery, charm, spell, incantation, amen, somebody. Blood sacrifice is recognized. Amen. 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 I waited, and even among the Muslims, there's a way to cut their meat, there's a way to drain the blood. There's a prayer to say. Because the Bible says, Amen, somebody. Satan knows the power that's in the blood. The highest form of sacrifice for witches and warlocks and sorcerers is human blood. Oh, yeah. Amen. 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 Amen.
of anybody do witchcraft and sorcery. Amen. Many of them. Amen. Many girls want to get a higher realms and levels. They have to sacrifice different types of animals and drain the blood. Yes. Because that blood is what Satan is using. And some of them have to use their own blood. And their children's blood. And then it reaches a point when, when the demon is getting enough blood, it begins to take life in some families. Yes. So Satan recognizes the Power that's in the blood. And if you recognize, and the Bible said, now that's why we see in the Old Testament when you read, uh, Amen, Amen, somebody, before Jesus came, uh, Amen, we see that the Lord sacrificed God on David in the Old Tabernacle, Amen, somebody, Amen, somebody, of blood sacrifices before God. But the Bible said that these sacrifices uh, could not have redeemed man uh, nor make man perfect. Uh, could not uh, purify the soul of man, uh, could not reshape uh, the soul of man. Uh, that's why we see in the Old Testament uh, that the Spirit of God uh, would have rest upon man uh, rather than being uh, poured into man. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 Listen very carefully because you know you minister all year and you have to evangelize or tell church. You've got to explain this to people. Oh, yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. And, and sometimes you might face some devils that you've got to remind them what God would say over your life. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 So we read Romans 3 and 23, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Lord. So all of our good works cannot take away our sins, cannot reshape us or remold us. Amen, somebody. And God has to look to the annals of time. Amen, somebody. Amen. And save Amen. by the power of the blood of Jesus was able to buy us back of the hands of the enemy that we were able to be born again. We were able to be reshaped. We were able to be reborn in the image and the likeness of God. We were able to be born of the spirit and of the word of God. And our minds can be reshaped. Our hearts can be reshaped. Our choices can be reshaped. Our destiny can be reshaped. So, because of our, of our old birth rights, amen somebody, amen, amen somebody, amen. turn to the book of Colossians. Chapter 2. Uh, this is, was another part of my study tonight. I just, amen. This, this particular chapter. But as you are dealing with the power of the blood, it is the power of the blood. Oh, amen. amen. Somebody show the power of the blood. Oh, the power, come here. The power of the blood. The power of the blood. Amen. Satan is afraid of the power of the blood. He knows the power that is in the blood of Jesus. Amen, somebody. Power to redeem. Power to heal. Power to save. Amen. Right, Stick your finger right there. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. We want to just, we let's quote it tonight. Isaiah 53. Amen, somebody. For he was what? Wounded for our transgression, bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are made whole. This is what uh, the, the blood and the body of Jesus Christ did for us. Uh, it brought us back. Amen. 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 So anyone who has not recognized Jesus Christ as Lord, as Savior, has not been water. Redeemed Amen. or has not been water. Bought back. Their image has not been reshaped. They have not been born again. Right. 
Right. And all of their good works cannot save them. Right, right. Amen? Amen. Right. And amen, somebody. Right. Amen. Amen. Right. Verse 10. And, and, and we have completed him, which is the head of all principality and power. Who is the head of all things? We are made complete in whom? In Jesus Christ, who was what? The head of all things. So he's above what? Principalities, powers, rulers of the darkness of the soul. He's above every name that is named. As the Father said, I have highly exalted him and has given him a name that is far above every other name. That the name of Jesus. We're going to read that just now. Amen. 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 So we see it right here. We are seeing, amen, verses 10. And we are complete in him, which is the head of all principality and power, in whom also, amen, you are circumcised with the circumcision made without hands. You are, you are cut apart, you are ripped apart. That word circumcised with the cut, the rip, the tear. And this circumcision is made without hands. Right. It is something that is happening to our, to our inward man. Right. It is happening to our soul. Our soul is made up of what? Our mind, our heart, which is which we call amen, our emotions. Amen. Amen. And our will. Amen. What form our will? What form of our choice? Our mind and our emotion forms our choices. Turn to your neighbor and say, what form your choices is your mind and your emotion, which is known as your will. So every decision we are making in our life led up to here, amen somebody, amen is based upon our emotions and our minds. Which forms our will, which we call our choices. And that's why so many of us are in so much pain, hurt, and sorrow because many of us have not been truly born again. And this is what is happening to us here in verses 11. And that, that when we are being born again, that God is circumcising. He is tearing apart. He is ripping. He is changing our soul. Because the Bible said the soul that sinned shall surely die. And Jesus said, it's out of the heart that man sins from. He said, what is defiling man, what is destroying man, is what is in the heart of man. Amen. Amen. In whom also you are circumcised with the circumcision made without hands in putting off the body of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ. Amen. That body of sin is speaking about, ain't that somebody? Is connected to the soul of sin. When God created us, He created us as a tripartite being. He created us with a body. Tell the neighbor that he created you with a body, a soul, and a spirit. So the soul cannot sin without the body. Come on. Is the body committing the actions? The body is dead of the spirit, but the body sins to the soul. We be sin to our soul, which is our mind, our emotions, and our choices. Am I speaking to somebody? Right. So that's why the Bible is the soul that sin itself. Amen. Amen. So when the, the Bible says the body of sin is dying, and when it says the body of sin is dying, it means the soul of sin is not dying. Our soul is now being reshaped to think, to act, to talk, to speak like God, and our body can respond 
to the restricted soul. The one that has been born again of the Spirit and the Word of God. Give God some praise in that tonight. And listen now. Amen. Verses 12. And being and buried with him in what? So that's the first word that we got here to be what? Submerged. We are what? Buried in with him in baptism. The old man is what? Buried. Did you hear that say the old man? The old you is buried. And if you're in church 20, 20 years, 10 years, 5 years, a year, and you're still a liar, a cheater, a murderer, a thief, a, 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 amen somebody, amen somebody, amen something is wrong. You haven't been born again. Yeah. Maybe you're still an adulterer, a fornicator, a bad talker, whatever the Bible says that we should not be here. We have not been born again. Yeah. The old man has not been buried. Who yeah. ever the old man? The man of sin has to be buried. Has to be buried. Has to be buried. Amen. So we are buried with him in baptism. But also you are risen with him to the faith, to the what? The faith of the operation of God who has raised him from the dead. So that is happening by what? By your, by your what? By your faith. The Bible said in the book of Ephesians, Amen somebody, chapter 2 and verses 8 and 9, write it down. You are, we are saved by grace to our faith in water, to our faith in the righteous blood of Jesus, in the righteous body of Jesus, in the righteous resurrection of our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. We are saved by grace. Amen. Through faith. God chooses to have favor, pity, love on man. That's grace there. Amen. And we have to choose to believe in it. Amen. So the same, say amen. Tell them, say the blood of Jesus has never lose its power. Tell them, say that is a fate of the blood. It will lose you from your prison. It will lose you from your sickness. It will lose you from your disease. No matter how the Bible says, it's the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead. Amen, somebody. It shall quicken your, your mortal bodies and it shall put on immortality. That's what happened to John, the divine, that they couldn't kill him. They put him in oil, they couldn't kill him. They tried to hide him, they couldn't kill him. They tried to poison him, they couldn't kill him. They had it to banish him to the island of Patmos. Because the same spirit and raised Christ from the dead. There are two in the Bible that type the sons of God, whom God has called us to be, which is Elijah and Enoch, those two who have not faced of death. And then we saw that God came and even took the body of Moses. The Bible said Moses tasted of death because of disobedience. Otherwise, you would not have died and you would have seen the end of the promised land. Amen. Amen. But even so, his body spent so much time in the presence of God. And when Satan came to claim what? The body. body. Remember that. What he came to claim? The body. Why he came to claim the body? Because you were born in sin and shame in iniquity. That's why, amen, the final stage of our salvation is the redemption of the body. When death will have no more power over the body. That is to come. Remember Amen. 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 
That's when Jesus promised, men told Mary and Martha, believe thou this, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believe it on me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Speaking about the power to raise the dead, as a child of God, there is purpose and time and season where God will use us to even raise the dead. And he went on further to say, and he that believe it on me, while he liveth, he is speaking about the time to come now, he that believe it on me, while he liveth, shall never die. And that that's 1 Corinthians chapter 15. It speaks about when death will have no more power over us. Where the time will come where we will reach in that place to God. In, 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 that, in that near future where we shall say, Oh death, where is thy sting? Oh grave, where is thy victory? For death was sorted up in what? In the resurrection, Amen. it was swallowed up in life. When death will have no more power over even our bodies. That is because the, our bodies had also been glorified. Just like Jesus Christ was risen up with a glorified body. Amen. Amen, somebody. That same glory of God in us will overtake and override our body. And amen, because when God created Adam in the garden, he did not create him to die. Amen. Turn to your name and say, when God created our ancestors. He did not create them to die. What God did was sin. Amen. Amen. Somebody say, why God? Why God have his suffering so? Why God had a man going through this? It was it was not God design. It was not God plan. It was not God purpose. It was man who put themselves there. And it is man who is doing it today. Amen. So we might think selfish. Why God? Why God? Why God? Amen. God didn't put you with the man you have. Amen. God didn't put you with the woman you have. Amen. God didn't take you to God tell you make a child without having a job. Amen. What sent you there? The flesh. Amen. The flesh was sweet. Amen. You're suffering for a price of the flesh. Amen. The wages of sin is death. So is not God how you suffer it? Is not God and have you have nothing? It is the price of our ancestors and the, the price of what we are doing today. When you were young, you go into school because we were born in sin and shape and iniquity and we were after our father and the devil while our father and mother sacrificed everything to send us to school, be in school playing and, 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 and amen somebody and ignoring our education and doing anything that was wrong. And when we became adult and we realized the importance of education and money, amen somebody. That's right. It was sin then. It was disobedience then. It was our image and likeness then that caused the present. Amen. 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 Of our past image. Amen. Right on that. Say your present suffering is the cause of your past image. If you still have that image, crap out smoking pipe. How are you going to be blessing? If you're in church and all you have is a form of religion, a form of godliness, and you're denying the true power thereof. As I told you yesterday, this season, it's the time to repent. Amen. Of our present suffering. Amen. Amen. It is a result of our passport image. Am I speaking to somebody? I mean, you understand what I'm saying? I lift your hand and give God some praise tonight. I know we're going wrong, but listen to me. It's going to go deeper. 
in God where they would defend the world. And we have to have a good foundation and many of us have the best for this. Many of us have gone to baptism because we love Jesus but we don't understand what he has done for us. Amen. We don't understand the freedom that you have. Amen. We don't understand the power that you have. Amen. And you can't explain it to others. That is why he came and died for our sins. Because only he alone was found worthy. Amen. 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 He can take our sins. Amen, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Let's finish, let's finish reading it tonight. And you being dead in your sins and in the uncircumcision of your flesh, have been quickened together with him, and having forgiven you all of your trespasses, blotting out the handwriting of all the menses that was against us, which was contrary to us and took it out of the way, nailing it to the cross, to his cross. And having spoiled principalities and powers, and he made his show of them openly, triumphing over them in it. Amen, somebody. You hear all that he has done for you? Amen. Did they ever say the power in the blood? Did they ever say that the blood of Jesus uh, shall never lose its power? Open your mouth, say Satan. Uh, listen to me well. Uh, over my whole soul, uh, over my body, uh, over my children, uh, over my sickness, uh, over my disease. Uh, the blood of Jesus uh, shall never, uh, shall never uh, lose its power. You are both paper. You are both right. As God changed. Amen. 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 So let's 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 look at it. Tell the neighbor say, your birth paper have the names of your father and has your name. Amen, somebody. And when your when your your father leaves and in Inheritance, which is called your birthright. Turn yeah. to your neighbor and say, your father, your father has less than inheritance, <laughs> which is called your birthright. Say <laughs> your father is Lucifer, Satan, the wicked one. Amen, somebody. The amen, that wicked dragon, that old serpent, that God of the flies, mama, whomever you want to call him. He has left an inheritance to you. And that inheritance is pain, suffering, hurt, sorrow, bondage, darkness, affliction. Amen. 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 If your father, Amen, is the one that is in heaven, the one true and living God. Amen, somebody. He has left. And an inheritance for you to his son Jesus Christ. And you shall be healed, and you shall be delivered, and you shall be restored, and you shall find peace, and you shall find healing, and you shall find salvation, and the blind will see. That's why I said, These signs are for them that believe in my name. They shall heal the sick, they shall raise the dead, they shall cast out devils. That's why I said, Behold, I give you power, because you have a new book right now. And this power is over your slave master. Behold, I give you power over all the powers of your enemies. And whatsoever you bind on the earth shall be bound in the heaven. Whatsoever you loose on the earth shall be loosed in the heaven. Somebody shout power, 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 power. Amen. 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 Am I speaking to somebody? Amen. 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 Amen.
inspired in Acts chapter 2 and verses 38. When Peter finished preaching yeah. and the day of Pentecost, and the spirit of conviction came upon all of them and they didn't know what to do. He said, Men, they said, then what shall we do to be saved? He said, repent and be baptized for the remission of your sins. And we're going to stop there for the forgiveness of sins. Without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins. That's why in the Old Testament there was the shedding of blood, the blood of animals. That's why among the Buddha priests and the Obia men, they believe that the shedding of blood gives them power. And that's why Jesus' blood had it to be shared. That the sins of man will be forgiven. 